All right, I've been uh, going through my art books. I have one book on saddles and uh, positioning of the saddle on the back, the correct position, and uh, how big the saddle should be to the horse. These are 1870s saddles. I'm doing 1870 to 1880. Uh, style and uh, these are forks of the uh, saddle and uh, different way of cinching with a single cinch uh, this one is a uh, type of cinch that was used in Montana according to this book and uh, each region had its own way of rigging the uh, saddle. This uh, shows the incorrect position of the cinch, and this one shows the correct position of the cinch down here. So all this stuff is stuff I have to know if I'm gonna sculpt a saddle. I'm not a cowboy, so I haven't a clue, and I have to do my research to uh, make sure that at least I'm somewhat, somewhat accurate in that. Time to play with some clay. I think the steer is going to be strong enough to hold itself up, but I may just put a uh, support like this in the middle of the uh, steer up in the chest just so that there's no weaning. Uh, well, I think I'll be fine. It's not going to have that much clay on it. I mean, it's going to have a lot of clay on it, but it's not going to be extremely heavy. And that's the thing that you have to put supports for because the clay is not uh, self-mounting, uh, whatever. All right, I'm going to quit talking and uh, try to get busy here. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the uh, skeletal structure started on the uh, steer. And uh, I decide upon the uh, positioning of the uh, support. I didn't want to put it in here because this, it would interfere with his uh, uh, sexual organs. And uh, here it doesn't interfere with any except his chest muscles, which uh, can be easily uh, doctored in the uh, wax stage. of the casting of a bronze so you have to take in consideration where you put your support because you don't want to uh, interfere with the uh, details that uh, have to be there I'm just sketching in the, the hips right now. I've got to get some uh, more anatomy pictures or drawings of uh, bovine because you can't find them of a steer. You can only find them of a cow, which 
can help and more than likely doesn't. I'm going to work on his head uh, separately, but I'll do that another time. Right now I'm just sketching in the bones quickly to establish points of bone structure and stuff like that. I haven't got much time to work today. Uh, I'm getting ready to... I'm going to be going to Bo uh, Livingston, Montana tomorrow. I'll video the trip. Uh, I'm going to go pick up uh, the mold at the uh, Northwest Art Casting tomorrow in Bozeman and then transferring the uh, mold of a sculpture of mine to uh, a uh, facility or foundry in Livingston, Montana, which is about an extra 45 minutes, maybe a half hour drive from uh, Bozeman through a canyon. And hopefully we don't have a lot of snow on that pass. It uh, was a blizzard yesterday. Here. I mean, I had to go to the store and you couldn't see five feet in front of you because of the uh, whiteout. But that's Montana in the wintertime. I mean, that's spring. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine who lives here locally says that uh, statistically the worst winter storms are usually in April. And that makes sense. I've seen some real bad storms in April, so... Anyway... So I'm working fast to try to do as much as I can before I have to quit today. There's a couple of bones that come off the uh, back of the uh, hip that stick out here and it, it forms the uh, butt area of the uh, steer I'm not worried about getting every joint perfectly. I'm just uh, basically blocking in bone structure so I've got some place to attach muscles. I'll fine tune it later. This just gives me a feeling of what's going to happen with the uh, steer. It's basically just to cover up the uh, aluminum wire, get it uh, covered with clay quickly. If you notice, I don't wrap the aluminum wire like a lot of artists do. I've always found, found that unless you're doing a life-size sculpture, there's no need to wrap something that isn't that big because the clay does not have the weight to slide down the uh, 
armature. It's just a waste of your time. I'll come back and detail these bones a little bit better at another time. I got a picture of a guy sitting next to a longhorn steer skull and that gives me a scale for the skull and uh, I worked that out with the uh, scale for the uh, st uh, the uh, cow or bovine skull the skull of the uh, longhorn is going to be a little longer than the uh, bovine and I, I've got to take that into account but that's why I've got this picture there so I got to uh, a scale for the uh, person and it actually works out really good from the uh, person I had made before that's sitting over there resting while I uh, work on the cow and the uh, saddle of the horse later on this week or next week been a busy week this week that's why I haven't been down here that much Running out of soft clay. Temperature here in Montana got down to single digits, digits last night. So the studio is real cold this morning. That's why I haven't got a lot of soft clay right now. Well, it's starting to look like a steer's body starting to that is it really helps to have a good armature one that uh, shows you where your rib cage stops and starts and all the hip position and everything like that and I show you all that in my instructional video on how to create armatures where I cover making an armature for a horse which 
would be similar to making one for a cow. Uh, I'll show you how to make an armature for a, a dog and a human. And it, uh, it's a method of making armatures that I came up with years ago. I struggled at the beginning trying to figure out how to make a good armature. And it took me a long time to figure it out. And I've given you all my secrets in that video. So it's well worth the uh, bucks that you pay for it. All right, I'm going to pick this up probably next week. I don't think I'm going to be able to on Friday. Um, but I'm going to uh, hopefully get down here Friday, but I can't guarantee it. It's just a lot of things I'm doing this week. So, till next time, ladies and gentlemen. Happy trails. <laughs> It's, uh, who, who sang that? That was, uh, Roy Rogers. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. I don't know the rest of it. He, I didn't dress up as well as he did either. He always had great clothing. All right, everybody, good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.